it's inevitable. One day you walk into your room. You realize it's time to get online and purchase bedding. When you're comparing bedding, there are several factors that you can consider. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about those and do something a little different that I think you guys are gonna enjoy. I asked three different family members to go on Amazon and pick whatever bedding they wanted for their room. Today, we're going to test those out talk about how they came to those decisions. Sometimes it's a hit and sometimes it's a miss. You just never know sometimes when you're buying online because it's so hard to feel the quality and see it in person because we all know pictures and videos can be deceiving. Some of the things we're gonna consider are material, the comfort, the durability, the care and maintenance, the price, all of these things and more we're gonna compare in today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying today's video. It really helps my channel out. All right, our first bedding collection was picked by my daughter, Michaela. Michaela has a way different aesthetic than you guys see here in my home. So this is gonna be really interesting to see this in on my bed. This is how it came packaged from Amazon. She went on and she searched the words black comforter. She wanted something done in black. And so here her set came, and little did she realize, she purchased the number one selling bedding on Amazon. So I talked to her a little bit about why did she pick that bedding? And I did this with each one of my family members. Wow, this is like pressure sealed, or cryo back, or whatever the word is. I'll have to go get some scissors to open this, but I wanted to show you how this one came. This set includes not only a comforter and two shams, it also includes sheets that match the bed. I asked her why she chose this one. Not only was she wanting black, and it was like the look she was going for, which was the number one thing. She didn't even pay attention to what the material was. She did read reviews to see if it had good reviews, and obviously it did. And she basically picked it all from looks, which is very common. A lot of us do that. I'm gonna get this put on my bed and check it out, see what we think of it, what we got for our money, and go from there. This is the Bedshire Black Comforter Set queen bed in a bag it's seven pieces and it has over 44,000 reviews above a 4.5 stars and here's the crazy part this queen set with the sheets and everything was only 54 and 39 that sounds pretty impressive so i feel like we got a lot of bang for our buck a little bit about what the description says as we're putting on this bed it says it has easy care with premium microfiber fabric and Bedsure's unique dyeing technique. This queen bedding resists fading, shrinking, and seam slippage after washing. It wants you to machine wash separately in cold water on a gentle cycle, and you can tumble dry on low. A little up close look. You can kind of see the material. It's pretty wrinkly, but after we wash it, we can see what it's gonna be like. All right, let's do a little recap on Michaela's bedding here that she chose, which was the number one bedding on Amazon, according to my Amazon page. Um, I think for price, I think she got an amazing deal. This is a lot of pieces. The quality feels good. The reviews are outstanding. I think the maintenance and care are pretty simple. I do think it's going to wrinkle. Um, if you have a wrinkle out option on your dryer, I think that is gonna be a fantastic thing to use for this. One thing I do wanna add in that my daughter just gave a really great example of, the pinched pleats hide the wrinkles. So if you're not one of those people that really care very much about wrinkles and you're never even gonna hardly see them because the pinch pleats do hide the wrinkles. Something that we won't know about for quite a while is durability. How is it going to hold up? So if you follow me over on Instagram, I will update you guys after this has been washed several times. We'll have Michaela pop in and give us a little update on how it's holding up, if it's fraying, if it's falling apart. We're gonna move on to our next one and it is quite a bit different. Boy, do we have a pile of bedding happening all around here. <laughs> next up, my sister Christy purchased new bedding for her room. When I talked to her, she picked this beautiful turquoise and coral colored quilt. Some things that she said to me of why she chose it was number one, looks. So I'm finding this is a pattern with everyone. Looks is obviously seems to be their most important. Let me know in the comments down below when you buy your bedding, what is your number one thing you're looking for? I feel like 
the first thing is you got to like to look at it. It's got to be pleasing. And then comfort, are you guys comfort and you don't care what it looks like? Or other, I you know, or other things. So let me know in the comments down below. Not only was she looking for looks, she wanted something in her color scheme. And she th was looking for something that was a good deal. She didn't really pay attention to what the bedding was made of, but she did read the reviews. Well, I will let you know that this has a 4.5 star review, and but it only has 40 reviews. So that's a pretty low amount of reviews. This set was $95.99. Um, it was delivered next day. And while we're putting this on, I am just gonna leave these black sheets on right now so we don't have to keep changing the sheets because boy, putting on a bunch of bedding is exhausting. <laughs> I will tell you that this is 100% cotton. The cotton quilt queen size is healthy, breathable, comfortable, and odorless. It has a lovely pattern that is in a striped boho style. It comes with three pieces, the queen size quilt with two pillow shams. It says that the cotton material will make sure that this quilt size can keep you warm even in the winter, but yet breathable and soft and bring you cozy sleep throughout the year. This queen size quilt is easy to care for. It wants you to machine wash cold separately and tumble dry low and do not bleach. Something I will say is bedding is so subjective. Everyone has different things that are a priority to them. I feel like what's important to one person isn't important to another. And what one thing looks like, you know, looks like for one doesn't look like for another. So it, it can be so difficult when you're comparing bedding and you're trying to even reading other people's reviews and things they say about it. Those are the things that can be difficult to when trying to decide which bedding you want. I have to say that I believe that when you're looking through reviews and trying to decide, is this the bedding I actually want to purchase? I think the thing that would, for me, that is most important is obviously not what it looks like because that's something that's just like personal preference is reading those reviews and seeing what's holding up that you can really get a takeaway from. But if they're saying that, you know, I washed it five times and it's already falling apart. Well, that's something that you could actually, that's physical, it's tangible. You can actually hold on to. So when you're going through reviews, really focus on those type of reviews and seeing what everyone's saying. That's just my own personal suggestion to help you get the best bedding for your money. I, this was super cute, I love it. Um, I like how neat it lays, I love the size, I love that it's reversible. Everything feels like good quality. <sighs> All right, next up we are doing Kelsey's. I asked her the same questions that I asked Michaela and Christy when they chose their bedding. And Kelsey's answers were a little different, so this will make it a little interesting. She was specifically looking for a quilt. So it wasn't necessarily based on looks. Hers was based off the material first. Then, of course, the aesthetic of what it looked like. First off, she was looking for something made of linen. And then she decided the, the price of linen was playing into how much, you know, everything costs. So she decided to not choose linen because it was too pricey. So she, then she went with a quilt because she said that she feels like they're easier to wash and maintain and keep clean. And they then also have a tendency to, I feel like, lay better after you wash them. They just, you know go back to what they originally look like and you don't worry too much about shrinkage and that kind of thing. And so those were her criteria. She did tell me she looked at how many stars the bedding had, but she did not read any of the reviews. All right, let's get this put on and I'll tell you a little bit about Kelsey's set. All right, this is called the Lush Decor Farmhouse Stripe Reversible Cotton Three-Piece Quilt Set. The price of this one is $89.09. This one took a couple days to deliver. It did not come next day for us. It says it is 100% cotton also, just like Christie's was. It says, decorate your master or guest bedroom with traditional farmhouse style. The printing on this set is reminiscent of shiplap beams. For your convenience, the quilt and shams in this set are both safe to machine wash and tumble dry. I will let you know, this had 2,700 reviews and it had 4.2 stars. <laughs> I just looked at the picture and I realized I have it on the wrong way. They have it going this way, whoops. <laughs> Little up close and personal look. All 
All right, I have to say that this one is super lightweight. It's, uh, it's thin, but perfect for summer. But I think in the winter, you would need another blanket under there with you. Um, I think Kelsey is a lot like me. And whatever I have on the top of my bed, I actually don't even sleep with it. I always roll it back and that's how I keep like my comforters and my quilts and all that super nice. And then I have like bedding underneath of that. And that also helps give my bed a little bit of a fluffier look. And I think Kelsey's like that. So I'm not 100% sure. I can't wait to hear her report back how this holds up for washing. I did not have a throw pillow at all that matched this set. <laughs> it's so hard when you're putting someone else's style into your room, you know, with the white, with my cream and just all that. But you guys get the idea. That wasn't what this video was about. So I think the takeaway from this is like we said earlier, bedding is so subjective and everybody has different things that are important to them. I think that the things that we talked about today are all things that you need to consider when comparing your bedding. That way you make the most educated decision for your preference, budget, and your needs. All right, well, I'm gonna get my bedding back onto the blue because you all know I love blue and I need the blue in my room. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.